Hey beautiful people, oh, welcome back to my channel Wake Up Bright where I share all the things that help me live each day a little brighter like this very awesome shirt that I love so much. <laughs> I'm April Lauren and I'm on a journey to lose 200 pounds. Today is a full day of eating video. I am also sharing with you guys my current eating plan, my plan for this month, what I've been doing and what I will be continuing to do and we'll be at meal planning for the week. So I'm very excited about that and I'm just going to eat and share it with you and run errands and share my life. So let's, you know, work towards losing some weight. <laughs> See you in a second. Good afternoon, beautiful people. It's supposed to be a good morning, but um, my morning shifted, and so me and the babies have just been playing and not really doing much. Yeah, have we been playing? Did mommy take off your Christmas collar? Um, so yeah, we have just been piddling. It is time for me to eat lunch. It's actually past time, so it is 1.20. And so I'm starting the vlog really late. I'm starting my day really late. I, um, it's the first time that I've been alone in our house in so long. <laughs> and I just took advantage of being alone. I am a person I like to, that likes to be alone. Like I like some alone time and it's completely okay. I love spending time with my husband, that's why I married him. <laughs> but, and it's probably the closest, being like with my husband all the time is probably the closest to being alone, I would say. Um, <laughs> anyway, anyway, I'm gonna stop now. So today I have a lot to do. I have to register a vehicle. I have, so we ordered out and now I have an extra Hello Fresh meal because we ordered out and didn't eat. So I'm gonna take that and drop that off at a friend's house. And let's see what else. Register car that, I have like some other little errands to run. And then I've got lots of working out to do. So I don't know if I've told you guys yet or not, but the hubs and I have started to compete. We are on our first week of competing with the Apple Watch. Like it has like a setting where you can compete. Okay, but pause for one second. Look at this. Yeah, look, he always is underneath that tree. I almost don't ever want to take it down because he loves it so much. Sometimes I'll come in here and he'll just be sitting facing the tree looking at it. He loves the tree. Don't you, Boo Bear? Are you a Christmas baby? Chippy's the one that was born at Christmas time, not you, silly. <laughs> Anyway, what I was saying is, is that we're competing and I got behind. I was so far ahead and I got like a little lackadaisical about it. I um, I went to bed early one day and when I went to bed, he went and like worked out like crazy. And so now I'm behind and he's like, well now all I have to do is for the next three days, cause I was like so far ahead. He's like, for the next three days, all I have to do is get 600, which is the max you can get in a day, and you don't, have, you can't come back. And I'm like, oh, I cannot lose. Anyway, it'll be okay. <laughs> um, today is a full day of eating. I'm finally getting around to it, and then just running errands and such with me. So I also want to talk a little bit about my current food plan and how I'm eating, and why and it's a hundred percent my my like what I'm doing it has input and influence of lots of different things to where it doesn't resemble anything I don't think maybe it does <laughs> you guys can be like yeah that's actually blah 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 and tell me in the comments below but I really don't think that it's anything I think it's just like my own observations over the last six months of what my body responds best to when I'm trying to lose weight and then just a little bit less calories than what I was eating. So anyway, we're going to do a whole little section in this video about that and let's eat some lunch. 
Is mommy gonna eat some lunch? Does mommy need to dust that table? Yeah. Oh, boo. I love some boo, love. I love. Oh, you want me to scratch your butt? Is that all you ever want? Alrighty, so I am. I think I might have ate this exact salad in my last full day of eating. <laughs> But I think I have also shared with you guys before I like to eat the same things over and over and over again So I'm eating a ranch cob salad with chicken and bacon and It is it has 630 calories. I'm pretty sure I ate this exact salad the last time so That is my lunch and then we're gonna run those meals to my friend and or that meal to my friend and then yeah i'm just gonna experience the day i don't know why i'm narrating it so much <laughs> i think the next time i'm filming and i share this lunch with you guys like the salad i'm going to literally break apart all of the ingredients and measure it out and then figure out exactly what the caloric intake is because i'm just not sure <laughs> what the box says <laughs> anyway after i ate the husband came home from work I was so excited for him to be at work. I already talked to you guys about that, but they released really early. And so he ran with me to take a couple HelloFresh meals that I had. Earlier, I think I said one, but there were actually two. So I took one to Yenna and I took one to my other friend. And it was just really quick, especially with him with me. He stayed like in the car or the with at Yenna's. He got out and like we stayed outside to give them the food. So it was good. It was a good time. And then I realized I didn't have everything that I needed, which will be a theme in this st story today, um, to get my vehicle registered. So we went home and he had homework to do anyway. So it was just a quick errand. He didn't really have time to spend running about everywhere with me. I also needed to like pay her water bill and stuff, which you guys will see in a minute. Nice, boring errands. Aren't you so happy that I'm taking you along with me? <laughs> Are they both for you? Feel the box. What's the other one? This one's probably the headphones. Huh. What's up, guys? Hi, baby lovies. Hi, baby lovies. You like them? Yeah. Let me see. The other side. Ooh, they're really soft. I wasn't really expecting that. The furry bit? Yeah, they look good though. They look good. All right, so I'm very excited. Yenna is actually coming over to work out. So we weren't able to work out this morning. And so I've done some stuff on my own today and I didn't record, but Yenna's coming over and we're working out. Um, this afternoon so i'm very very excited and right now i'm running to the dmv to get those tags i feel like i'm getting my life together and i brought with me a little snack <laughs> to keep me from losing my mind and yeah let's get to the dmv Alrighty, so I am headed into the DMV. I just realized that I don't have one piece of paper that I need. I have it in email, so, oops, sorry about that, son. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that that will work. Well, we shall see. <laughs> so 
So Yuna is on her way. She just texted. I'm pretty excited about it. Unfortunately, we should have worked out earlier if I had my life together. But, well, we couldn't have worked out earlier because I need to get my tags. But I wasted a bunch of time and didn't get my tags. What happened is that I drove all the way down there and then I did the message in the car where I was like, I don't have this printed out, but I do have it in my email. So I was hoping that they were gonna take like an electronic copy of the leave and earning statements to prove that we're military. So I don't even know why I have to do, or I have to show them that, but I do here in Missouri in order to register my vehicle. And so I didn't have that, but I had a copy in my email, right? Well, I went to get out of the car and I was getting my stuff together and I started frantically looking for my phone. I looked everywhere for my phone and finally I was like, oh, your favorite part about having an Apple Watch is that you can press the button and locate your phone. And when I went to do that, my phone was not in the car. It wasn't in the car because I left it at home. So, a very exciting, very exciting stuff. So anyway, Jenna is on her way. We are about to work out. I'm pretty excited to have a good workout sesh, especially after the stress of going to the DMV. I did not eat my little snack I took with me, so I'm gonna eat it right now. And I also wanted to thank Built Bar for sponsoring today's video. You guys know at this point, I love Built Bars. I eat them almost every day, typically after a workout. And if I don't do it right after a workout, I usually do it after dinner. If I'm like craving something sweet, I'll have a Built Bar. I do limit myself to one per day. I love that they have a low calorie nutrition profile. This bar only has 130 calories in it, 17 grams of protein and like four grams of fiber. It's a very good bar. And as I said recently, it reminds me of Valentine's Day candy. Also, some of them remind me of the, cho the double chocolate bar reminds me of a Three Musketeers bar quite a bit, but I'm not a big candy bar person. That's the funny thing. I'm not a candy person, but I love these built bars. Like they are the best protein bars and they keep me satiated. I don't feel like hungry or like I need something else right after it'll tide me over. So, and it also satisfies the sweet tooth without being like overly sweet. I love that. I love the texture of these bars. I love the consistency from bar to bar. They all are very, very good and very tasty. If you would like to try Built Bar, you can use the link in the description below or code April Lauren 20. Let me know in the comments below if you did try Built Bars. I love them so much. If you have, what's your favorite flavor if you have one? Or if you have any questions about flavors and my favorites and stuff, I can I can tell you. I can give you a list. I've almost like ordered their 18 flavors plus the extras. <laughs> Which the their like special flavors are typically my favorite. Like I just ordered their chocolate chip cookie dough one which is i guess it said limited on the instagram those instagram ads get me every time anyway after after i did that i wanted to play with the pups while we were waiting for yenna and her little toddler to come hang out and work out with us so we had fun playing ball and watching the sunset the sunset was so pretty so warm definitely the golden hour and i'm loving that the sun is staying up longer at this point like it was probably almost five o'clock at this point and the sun was just setting like i mean it's, i would think it was down by five but it was close and then the neighbors were burning stuff so that's what all that smoke is and earlier i had gotten a package and i hadn't opened it yet so they just left it right outside of the garage it's where the hubs told them to leave it and i needed to get that open so Yenna pulled up while i was unboxing these dumbbells which i'm so excited about these 20 pound dumbbells but I wanted to say, there's lots of just stuff I thought was cute and I want to remember. So if you want to skip the Noah, Yenna, and my chit chat footage, then just skip ahead to the workout, which starts at 654. Hi, you brought Little Man. Yeah. Ugh. I got kettlebell. I mean, kettlebells. I got dumbbells. Ooh, very excited about them. I did too. It was warm, like 10. Yeah, they are. Nice. Got them in the PX too. It's gonna be like 30 bucks. I I like these, but it's a lot newer. <laughs> what are those? Uh, I never pay attention to the type. Zoom Windflow 5. <laughs> you wanna look at my shoe? <laughs> 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 you 
think you're cute. Oh, they're gonna be so happy. Thank you. <laughs> How did you know there was something in there that you shouldn't have? Hi. Hello. Hi, babies. Hi, babies. Hi. Is that a burger? Hi. No. <laughs> and he likes music. It's a dancing book. What are we doing today? What day is it? I keep confusing what today is. Sometimes, like earlier, I got super stressed out and I was like, oh, it's freaking trash day. And I'm like going through my house and I'm like, we're trying to get rid of stuff. Where's the trash? And I'm like, I don't want to throw anything away. Like, uh -huh. more stuff. And so then I got our actual trash up after procrastinating. <laughs> and um, I like loaded everything up and I like broke it down all these boxes. And all these are out there. There's not that many. <laughs> I like roll the trash can up the hill and I'm like, this dang thing's heavy. And I'm like, I'm dead. And then I'm, I'm like, somebody else has their trash out. Where's everybody's trash? Yeah. Jasmine Wars has a beer in like 10 minutes. You so big. I'm vigorously shaking that thing. Oh, you want me? <laughs> Here's a cuddle button, Anna. Oh. A little So Noah was not super excited to be in his little playpen thing. So Kenny decided, decided, I asked Kenny to watch him while we worked out. And so he did. So that was a really, really awesome. And we were able to get our workout on. And then Yenna had been telling me about a workout that she used to do when she was in track and field where it was a workout specific to building up small stability muscles within your legs and ankles and stuff. So we we had to modify the workout a little bit because we didn't have all of the equipment, but that's the workout that we did. So this is a workout modified from Yena's track coach from way back when. So we, I enjoyed it, it kicked our butts. So we started with Bulgarian split squats. And last time I did these, someone commented about how I had my foot, I had my toes up. I just have to do that sometimes. It's not about, I, I don't remember what the reasoning was. I know that you're supposed to put your foot flat like I'm currently doing, but it really just depends on how my ankles feel. So my right ankle's fine, but my left ankle, because of the surgeries and stuff, sometimes gets a little stiff. And yeah, I just have to be a little mindful. But we did those split squats, which are always good. And I feel like my form to look a lot better than the last time I did it. Then overhead squats, which I should have been going a lot lower. I don't know if I thought I was or not. My legs were sore, so I might have just been being really lazy. But I'd like to think that I just didn't know I wasn't going all the way down. <laughs> and then after that, we did walking lunges. And I didn't, I was trying just to do walking lunges without a kickback because I usually do the kickback. It helps me regain my balance. And I also like really working out my butt. But like I said, my legs were really sore and the workout itself just called for walking lunges. So that's what I did. And then after walking lunges, the workout itself called for an abductor machine, but um, I just used a band and then I would have never thought to do this, but thanks Chloe Ting for giving me an idea on how to do these abductor exercises. So I just put that band on and I did 30 of these. And apparently I yawned a lot, a whole lot. <laughs> I think that this is real time. I don't think I sped this up at all, just so you know. Or did I? Is this sped up? You guys are getting real life. Commentary here. No, I just stopped it. Yeah, so it's sped up to 1.50, so 1.5. So not that much sped up, but a little bit. Next up was a snatch. And I struggled, like I'm not, I've never done snatches before. So we were just using the, that is actually like a broomstick and it's got a ball on the end. One time the hubs was gonna do Spartan races and this was like a makeshift spear. And then I did, I think these are called supermans and you're supposed to lift your hands straight out in front, but I didn't do that. And then we just repeated it um, all the way through. So yeah. I'm 
need it. Been the one since the fetus. Don't sleep on me, tempopedic. That's a no, no, no. Spend the dope for no reason. Got a ball head, Mr. Clean. Heard the big bags overseas, then we gon' go, go, go. Hey guys, so Yana and I finished working out a little bit and then I had to go pick up groceries. I feel like that's all I ever do is go pick up groceries. But um, I am cooking salmon. The salmon, I think I actually showed it in my last full day of eating. I had just bought it and then today was like the very last day to make it before it went bad because even though the hubs wanted to do salmon for breakfast, he has not done salmon for breakfast this week. So... <laughs> I'm making it for our dinner. I am making us some salmon and sweet potatoes and probably broccoli. But I thought I would explain how I'm eating right now. So I am doing I am doing a low carb-ish style of eating. My target calories, I might I want to eat about 1800 calories. I could eat as low as 1700 calories or a little over 1800 calories, but 1800 is my target, give or take a few. Um, so I also am going lower carb, but I don't exactly mean low carb. I'm not eating, I'm not doing a ketogenic way of eating right now, and I'm not doing a low carb diet. I just mean I'm not going out of my way to eat carbs. <laughs> I with the HelloFresh meals, I'll eat whatever they send us, and that's two meals a week. So two meals a week, I'll eat whatever they send us. Other than that, I either will not do any extra carbs over vegetables, or I'll do like a sweet potato. But as far as like potatoes, pasta, rice, I'm pretty much limiting those things to HelloFresh meals. So, and that just means two times a week, and then occasionally we may place a third order. So occasionally three. Um, I, I will eat the carbs and it's just my husband is not limiting carbs or anything like that and so it makes it easier for for us just to kind of eat the same even though I'm eating slightly more restrictively so and then my body is still just craving all kinds of salads like my body is a salad monster right now all I want are salads and yeah so 1800 calories is what I'm shooting for. I am doing intermittent fasting, meaning I skip breakfast, but I don't really skip breakfast, honestly. I, I'm i not limiting myself to two meals. If I need a third, then I break it up. But typically what I do is two meals and a built bar. Um, but like I said, and then sometimes I do a protein shake and I think I'm gonna start more regularly doing protein shakes in my diet so i mean it's gonna evolve as i figure out just continue to figure out what works best for me and my body um but what i'm doing right now is just a culmination of everything that i've kind of experimented with over the last six months i've kind of zeroed in i feel on how my body responds the best to certain foods and what makes me feel the best and what just what helps me stay in control of myself and those are the things that I'm eating. So what I eat may not look like anything anyone else is eating and that's okay. Um, but I feel like I'm on the right path and things are going very well. And at the end of this video, I will break down the calories of everything that I ate today. So <laughs> I am making the salmon. I need to put it in the oven. The oven's preheating. So I will see you in the kitchen. So dinner's ready now and I am just making our plates. Funny story, I made us sweet potatoes and then I forgot to put them on our plates. So we did not do it and that severely like changed the amount of calories that I ate this day. Um, my calories were already going to be low because of the salmon and just poor planning. 
but I just like I planned out our food and then I just decided it was going to be about right. Nonetheless, it was super good and I was super full and it was a win. Let's talk calories. So for lunch, I had a salad with the dressing. It was 630 calories, 18 carbs, fiber was 4.5, the fat was 13, and protein was 28. I actually did not use the dressing that came with it. I used other dressing. And then for snacks, I did vitamins and Built Bar. Vitamins I usually take right before I eat lunch, but I just felt like it'd be easier to compete it this way. So that was a total of 205 calories. The Built Bar had 130. Total carbs was 35 and fiber 6. The vitamins had 17 carbs and zero fiber. Fat, 2.5, vitamin zero. Protein, 17, vitamin zero. Dinner, I had salmon, peas, and broccoli. The calories was 665. The carbs were 33 with 11.8 grams of fiber. Fat was 33.2 and protein was 61.2. That totals up to 1,500 calories, which would have been more with a sweet potato, but I already shared what happened with the sweet potato with you. Carbs, 86. Fiber, 22.3. Fat, 48.7. Protein, 106.2. And that wraps up the caloric breakdown of the day. Dinner is ready and the hubs and I are about to eat. And I'm going to close this video. I would love to hear what your eating plans are for this month. If you're doing anything different going forward this year. Um, yeah, tell me in the comments down below. Love you guys and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.